here for my final whiskey of the night. Tonight I've had the 18 year old um, Crown Royal. I've also had an Evans Family Reserve from Shelter Point. I have had a Portwood Finnish whiskey from Glendronic, which I liked a lot. And now I have this. This is a Caden Heads bottling of Kalila. Now I'm going to get the dust off of there. I've had this for a good six months, I think. Five or six months, anyway. Well, when did I get this? What does it say? Let's see now. The 27th of August. And it is that was my dad's birthday. And now it is the 13th of January. So, okay, not quite six months, but it's been a while. Get back to our frame here. And this is our Cadenhead Kalila 10. Now, it would be interesting if I had a Kalila, what is it, 10 or 12? What was the Kalila? I think it was 12. It would be interesting to have one of those side by side with this one, but I don't have one. So, too bad. I will have to try this on its own. And see what I think of it. I generally like Kalila. Every time I've had Kalila, I have enjoyed it. And that includes the peated and unpeated versions of Kalila. Ooh, that's a tight one. Ah, natural cork. Try that again. Not much of a pop, but it's tight. Oh, I like the bottle. The bottle has these dimples on the sides. It's so easy to grab. Oh, I like this. This has got to be the most ergonomic bottle I've ever had. Nice. Okay, well, we'll let this sit here for a while. And what did I pay for this privilege? Kalila, 10 year old, 46% ABV from Caden Heads, $102.16, and $42 for shipping of four bottles. That would be $10.50 more, so $112.66. Not bad. It's 10 year old Kalila. That would cost less here if it was in the store. Maybe by a bit. All right. So, getting back here, what did I find? Let's do a little bit of a anaconda and see what we get in the way of de leggings. Oh, quick sheeting action, down it goes. But there are secondaries forming on the top. Look at those secondaries coming down. There are secondaries, yes. Nice. Ah, oh, right away I get the peat smoke on the nose. Ah. Oh. I get the lime, lime citrus, a lot of lime citrus, lime citrus and lemon citrus, citrus. Under, hiding under that citrus is some creosote. Mm. 
but mostly citrus is what I'm getting. This is an independent bottling. I believe this may be the first Caden Heads original collection bottle that I've ever had. Single malt Scotch whiskey distilled at Kalila Distillery. Age 10 years, 46% alcohol by volume. 70 CLs. Ah, what does it say on the back here? It says, Cadenhead's original collection, William Cadenhead Limited, was founded in 1842 and is Scotland's oldest independent butler. Cadenhead's original collection whiskies provide a showcase from a variety of distilleries from Scotland and beyond. Each distillery has its own distinct character and flavor. We select casks from our warehouses in Campbelltown to explore and present the best that each one has to offer. None of our products are chill filtered and no artificial coloring is added. Nice. Very nice. And it has international symbols for different things here. Something about 32 units, whatever that means. Uh, recycle and you won't get pregnant from drinking this. Okay. I sure hope I don't get pregnant from drinking this. Still, I get a lot of that lime citrus covering over a lot of that creosote. No. Okay, I'm going to... Don't get much else at the moment. It's a bit medicinal. It's a iodine for sure. Medicinal iodine lime citrus with some creosote on the palate. Okay, there's not much until it, it transitions when I open my mouth and let the air in. I get espresso coffee. Strong espresso coffee. I don't get the creosote so much. I don't get any more well, maybe just a hint of lime, but mostly espresso coffee. Wow. Wow. That's only the first sip. Let's get back to it. Once more, initially lime citrus, and it transitions to smoky espresso coffee. That's mostly what I get on the palate, espresso coffee. Mmm. If you like coffee, you're going to love this. I like the taste of coffee but not what it does to me. It makes me shaky and jittery and it makes me hyper. So I don't drink coffee and I haven't drank coffee in a while. I used to drink coffee, but I stopped. But I can still get the taste of espresso from this. 
on the finish, I'm getting a bit of a smoky it's kind of heavy do that again okay on the nose I'm getting less of the lime citrus it's still there but it's a lot weaker than it was I'm getting just lime citrus not much else on the palate Oh, on the palate again, it's real simple. Not much until I open my mouth and let the air in. And then once again, I get some espresso coffee. Now, if I am to add a little bit of water, I don't. It's 46%. It's perfect drinking strength. But I will add half a spoon of water. What will this do to the experience? I find the experience not overly complex, but very pleasant, as it is to begin with. <clears throat> Ooh. <clears throat> Excuse me. Cleanse that palate again. All right. The lime citrus is almost gone. The water has drawn that out. The addition of water has made it slippery and alkaline. Now I'm not getting so much espresso coffee as I am just getting peat smoke. I get peat smoke. Do I get anything else? Yeah, I get a slippery alkaline mouthfeel now that I've added half a spoon of water, which is strange. I'm getting long legs too now that I've added water. Look at those things going right down, if you can see them. Long legs. Um, now on the palate, I'm getting oak, I'm getting wood, I'm getting wood tannins, I'm getting oak tannins, and I'm getting some of that lime, lime citrus. Huh. Generally, adding water to peated whiskey does not go well with me. If I have a, a peated whiskey, especially at 46% ABV, it's got it's it's perfect as is. If you add water, it just doesn't do it any favors. I don't 
generally add water to peated whiskey just because it takes away from the experience. It doesn't seem to open it up more like it does for other kinds of whiskey. Whiskies that were not peated. Mm. Very slippery mouthfeel. Watered down peat smoke. I don't like my peat smoke watered down. I like it straight up. But either way, this is an interesting little bottling, if you can get it. It's a 10-year-old Kalila, bottled by Caden Heads or Caden Heads, depending on which continent you are. Salancheva. Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>